All right, hello everyone. Welcome back. Pickles here for the uh, second try of this game. I recorded it once before, a playthrough, but unfortunately OBS didn't grab any of the audio. So here we are. We're going to do it again. This is Invasion of the Halloween Fiend. Uh, Invasion of the Halloween Fiends is a first-person retro horror game that takes place on Halloween night. Strangers keep visiting you, looking for candy. Some of them may not be friendly. Will you be able to survive Halloween night? We'll see. Sounds spooky, spooky. <laughs> spooky, spooky. So, here we go. Spooky scary. My grandfather games presents. So yeah, some of the stuff in this game is cute. Rhett Nick Kirk, and I see a rat in a washing machine. And that's a big pumpkin on the left. Invasion of the Halloween Fiends. the uh, VCR effect. That's kind of nice. I like the cutouts on the wall. That's kind of nice. Doesn't look like a trick-or-treater. I probably should go see what he wants. A van that says free candy. Um, looking like you. Hey! Hey, it's me, the free candy guy. Hey. Can I talk to him through the window? Hey. Oh, I can. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Ba bada bing, bada boom, baby. It's me, squeaky clean Mikey Dean. Here for your all tutorial, extraterrestrial and janitorial needs. Oh, you look weird. What's going on with your nose? Is that like massive blackheads or something? And that, that weird slash across your stomach? That's weird. And you and also with your creepy van there, it says free candy. That's you're not giving me confidence there, buddy. You're you're weirding me out. Are you all alone tonight? Yeah, my parents are away at a party. Hmm, interesting. Anyway. I got a call that this house needed a tutorial. Is that right? Arrow keys to select dialogue options. E to confirm. Okay, boink, boink. There we go. Let's go through the tutorial. Hey! It's Halloween night here, so here's some info. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's cover some basic buttons. Ease to interact. You're talking with me already, so it looks like we got a smart one. Z to make that text at the bottom of the screen reappear. Left mouse to throw items you're holding. Q to drop items. R is to eat the candy you're holding. Let's give it a go. Some things like that dresser can be opened by clicking E while looking at the drawer. <laughs> Inside the top drawer should be a nice old piece of candy your grandma left. I know that because she's one of my clients if you know what I mean. Bada bing! Mother Goose! I fucked her! Oh! Pick it up, click R to eat it. Talk to me when you're done. I'm stuck. Why, why, oh, come on. Uh, there we go, okay. Got stuck there for a minute. Hey. Oh God, this is good. This is good. It's in the bottom drawer, anything? Nothing in the bottom drawer. So what else? Hey. hey, good job doing what you're told. That's right. Let's see if you can handle handing out some candy. See that candy bowl right there? Hey. You can spawn unlimited candy by clicking E. You can then pick up the floor candy and give it to the trick-or-treaters. Mm -hmm. Just in a... Mm -hmm. 
and only give candy to one of the kids. That's the ringleader. You know, kids are these days with their organized crime and pyramid schemes. Give me two pieces of candy and talk to me after you're done. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's rain and candy, hallelujah. It's rain and candy, hallelujah. I should we get a copyright strike for that? Look at that. Just coming out of nowhere. Endless candy. I'll see. I, I wish I had an auto clicker. Let's see if I can make a giant pile. Let's see. What do I want to give the pervert here? Uh, that one? Sure. One out of two. Let's give you this square thing. What it looks like a candy hammer. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Well, kid, good job. You might just make it through the night, after all. I gotta get going. Lots of dummies out there. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. Free candy with the wheels on the van that don't rotate. So, what's going on out here? Ooh. Okay. Can I... How about that bat? Does that bat do anything? Spiderweb? Bat? Oh. Okay. Kids look weird. I should give them candy first. You look weird. You also look weird. Can't talk to them till you give them candy. Okay. There you go, little brat. Talk to them now. Trick or treat. Good evening, kids. How's it going tonight? Great. Guess what our costumes are. Let's see. You're a vampire. Woohoo, you got it. Guess what I am. Guess what I am. Uh, you're Frankenstein. Haha, uh -huh, you're old. You would know that. Thanks for the candy. So the last playthrough, I told her she looked like a turtle. She started crying. And I got a bully achievement for making the kid cry I'll see you later okay carve three pumpkins on the counter get the knife carve the pumpkins okay I forget nope it's not in that drawer I thought it was okay wink oh it just appeared in my hand okay Bada bing! Hey! Alright! Let's, uh, let's leave this right here on the counter. Can I? Yeah, I couldn't open them before either. I still, still can't open them. Yeah, none of this stuff works. Okay. I should give them candy first. Are you really kids? Are you are you little goblins or something? Hey kids, you see you see my magic see my magic thing here? Look at all my candy. I have endless candy. I bet you you're jealous. Aren't you jealous? Look at my mountain of candy here. It's just piling up. Piling up. Okay. Should talk to the kids. Trick or treat. Whoa, super scary outfits. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, you look super creepy too. But I'm not wearing a costume. Ah, so scary. Rotten kids. I should place my pumpkins on the porch. I hope your kids develop severe peanut allergy. <laughs> okay. One pumpkin. Let's see. Maybe another spot. Um, 
Okay, there we go. Whoa. I must have bumped the pumpkins. Maybe another spot. Okay. There we go. Hey, sounds like another trick-or-treater is coming. Let's close the door. Who's coming? Oh. What are you? You're no trick-or-treater. You look weird. Mm, I should talk to this trick-or-treater. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, you're not a kid. Blah. Blah. I'm not giving you any candy. You're an adult. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. No, get out of here. Okay. Get. Cry cries in blah. <laughs> What the heck was that? Something at the back door. I should check it out. Oh, hey, there's a little rat. Hey, rat. Any others around? I know there's one in the garage, and I know there's one over here. Okay. Any others? Why does the music change when you go in the bathroom? That's weird, and I can't... I can't rummage through the laundry. Anything in the trash? Nothing. I can't, oh, can't open these doors. Anything out here? Nope. There's a rat right there. Hey, rat. Does that look like a tortured soul face? That does. It looks like a screaming tortured soul face right there. Yeah. I wonder if that's deliberate or if that's just the effect of the stretched... Uh, hey, there's another rat. Effect of the stretched uh, texture. Can't move any of these. Can't do anything with them. Okay. Toolbox doesn't open. Can't get the ladder. Other toolbox doesn't do anything. Washer and dryer don't do anything. Nope. Can't... Don't seem to be able to do anything with the car. Uh, hey, you little shits. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, take your take your crap and get out of here. Whatever that was, it sure made me hungry. I should take my pizza upstairs. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's go upstairs. Mm hmm. Father's secret room. I'm not allowed in there. Why are you moving around? Oh, hey. Okay. I sense the presence of greatness may soon be arriving at my door. Oh, there's another brat. Movie? music. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. And these don't open. Oh. 
nothing. Okay. What's in this drawer? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I like the cutouts. Who are you, weirdo? Can I give you some candy? Oh, wow. It's the local legend, Tinfoil Man. You look so cool. Tinfoil. Tinfoil. That's right, it's me, Tinfoil Man. Fighter of evil. Preserver of food. So heckin' cool. Your costume is the best one I've seen all night. Tinfoil. Ha, silly citizen. This outfit is more than a costume. It protects me against the enemy brain control rays. Stylish and functional. Who would have guessed? Tinfoil. Tinfoil. That's right. Now little Jimmy or Susie or whatever your name is. Have you seen any evildoers on this Halloween night? Other than some rotten kids, I haven't seen anything to report, Tinfoil Man. Well then, if that's the case, I must go now. I haven't got any time to waste. I can feel the presence of evil getting stronger. Tinfoil. I'm Ting Guling. The anticipation. Great battle will happen tonight. I am this hound's only hope to survive. So cool. Good luck with your fight against evil. Tinfoil man, away! Wow. wow. Okay. Like a flavor party. Whoa. Whoa. Hope he's alright. I should probably be brave like him and watch the scary VHS movie upstairs. And what is this guy? Is that what? What? I, I, I it won't let me get any closer. I don't know. I'm kind of traumatized from that. I, I think I need some more candy. That one was just okay. <laughs> that one's just okay. <laughs> oh, there's another mouse. Tin foil. I think was I in here already? Yeah, I think I was. You don't seem to mean anything. Okay, let's go upstairs. Can't manipulate the pumpkins. I like this guy. Don't see any mice here. Oh, I can I can clip through him. Okay. the movie room? Oh, over here. Okay, let's look at the movie. It's time to get 
Freaky. Friday Night Freaker. My Grandfather Games presents a fake movie by Brett Niekirk, starring a creepy old man. Also starring the player as the cashier that dies in the end. The film was funded by Lemonade Sales and not the secret government. Sixteen gnomes were injured in the making of this film, and there's nothing you can do about it. And that looks like the guy that carried away Tinfoil Man. Okay. That kind of looks like my house. Time to sit on the couch. Okay. Jeez, I must have fallen asleep. Must be getting pretty late. It's happening in the movie. Okay. Time to hand out some candy. We're, we're at a gas station or something here. Oh, what's gonna happen? I'm riveting. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, can I manipulate you at all? No. And you keep shifting on your pedestal. I don't know, maybe that's just a unity problem. And you don't look like kids. You don't look like kids at all. open with the knife. No. Okay. Yeah, it seems like I can't do anything with the knife. do anything with that. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we better deal with these guys. Very, very creepy motion tracking. Talk to them. Whoa, cool costumes. It's sweet that you guys all dressed up the same. Dot, dot, dot. Haha, <laughs> you guys are having fun tonight? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, the silent type. Well then, take me to your leader. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha. Dot, dot, dot. Bet you guys are fun at parties too. I'm going to turn the lights off before I go to bed. Wow, I must be the newest residents of Flavor Town. Oh God, this is good. Sweet, this one's and quite salty. delicious. Oh, wow, wow, oh, this is wow. wow. That's wow. Good. wow. wow. <laughs> Must be the newest residents of Sweet, 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 
I wonder if something happens if you eat too much, get sick or something. A Tootsie Roll in there. Well, you get an achievement. Eat a hundred candy. Oh, is that a hundred thousand dollar bar or whatever those are called? What's in there, by the way? So we've got, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, M&M's pretty obvious. That's some kind of square candy hammer thing here. That's a hundred thousand dollar bar. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what those things are supposed to be. If it was ice cream, I would say it's a drumstick. And candy apples, Tootsie Rolls, uh, pumpkins. That one was just okay. That one was just okay. Let's turn the lights off. Turning the lights off, huh? What the heck is talking? Is that me talking? Turn the lights off. Any other lights? Oh, here we go. Is that it? The lights here. Oh, there we go. Uh, where else? Oh. I wonder if there's any more mice. I don't see any. Oh. Yeah, see, he keeps moving. Ready for bed. Heck is talking. So like the, uh, are you talking? What? Are you telling me to go to bed? Right? I should go to bed now. Okay. Okay. Is this is this not my bedroom? No, I guess this isn't my bedroom. Which one is my bedroom? Not there. This one? No, okay. was that? Should look around and find out. Tombstone. Looks like that is their leader. You guys didn't eat my pizza, did you? Oh. 
<laughs> oh, it's a gnome spinning around inside the pumpkin. Doesn't seem to be anything new except the gnomes. Why does the music change when you go in the bathroom? Oh, what's back here? Anything? Oh, you can't open the back door. I should give the gnomes candy. Can I give them candy? No. Nope. Can I give you candy? No. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> I bet you're wondering why we're here. You see, we are the magical gnomes of Halloween. And we have seen that you have been such a good little hollow kin. So we decided to give you the opportunity to win one Halloween wish. You must answer the following five questions right to get your Halloween wish. But if you fail, it will be your doom. Do you accept the challenge? Um, let's say no. I said yes last time, so let's say no this time. Oh. Oh. Did you just say no? Did they just say no? <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> you never really had a choice in the matter. <laughs> it was all but an illusion. First question. Which direction is the spooky land of Antarctica? Okay. <laughs> Interesting choice, because it was the right choice. On to the second question. Would you rather fight men with pumpkins or hands, or pumpkin with men for hands? Let's say, let's say a pumpkin with men for hands. Ha 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 ha, wrong answer. Clearly a man with pumpkin for hands would have been the easiest to defeat, because the man's hand would be soft and unable to grasp a weapon. Now that I'm thinking about it, a pumpkin with men for hands would be really easy to fight. The men would be too small to move the pumpkin, and you could sneak up behind it and smash the pumpkin, becoming victorious. All right, I see your point. You passed this question. Final question. Didn't you say five? That was only three. That was two. This will be three. A math question. Oh, the horror. Okay, let's see here. Just got back from trick-or-treating. Inside your pillowcase, you counted 127 candies. Spooky ghost comes along. Ghost steals 37% of your candy. Leave her well where flung creeps in through the window. Scary, right? Werewolf decides to steal a goblin's toe worth of candy. Then comes the scary vampire. He feels bad for you and gives you two pieces of candy. You wake up in the middle of the night to check your sack. How much candy is remaining? Let's say two. Continue. Wait, what? Oh. Nobody has ever gotten that question right before. Never in all my time. Why is the font changed? Wait, it, I did it? <laughs> of course not. I should have known you were a fake Hollowkin. It's time for your doom. that old man knows. <clears throat> okay. Let's talk to the old man. I see the gnome hanging out up there. Uh, 
Hello, dude. Hello? Oh. oh, they brought you here too, huh? Those evil Halloween gnomes. If I can only get my hands on them. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, maybe since last Halloween, I'd say. Been stuck here that long. Yep, stuck in between these four walls. Have they been tormenting you this whole time? Hmm, not really. They just kind of left me here with my thoughts. And kind of nice, actually. I've had lots of time for self-reflection. I figured once I get out of here, I'm going to start all over. Maybe open a small snack bar on the coast. Have you been doing anything else with your time? Uh, Screaming, mostly. Want to hear? No, not really. Uh, okay, I get it. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, Who the hell has been screaming? That dude over there. Ah! <laughs> See? Be gone, old man. I no longer have use for you. Wait, no, please. Now's your chance to put your skills to use. Continue. Wretched old man, well, at least now I have a new plaything. Can I... I can't move. Well, you are trapped in my dungeon for committing an act... too foul on Halloween. Okay? This time, however, I will not make the same mistake of keeping my plaything around all year. Damn Void hasn't ri finished ripping his soul from his body yet. Well then, if the Void isn't working too well tonight, I suppose I will just crush you between these four walls. Please don't scream as much as the last one. But why? Because I'm evil. Time to die now. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Walls are closing in on me, I think. Oh, the void is gone. Okay. But he's just standing there. I can't... Can I clip through the walls, maybe? No, well, the walls are definitely moving. I can't clip through, either. Oh, well. Can I, can I grab a pumpkin? Somehow? No. No, can't grab a pumpkin. Uh-oh. I guess this is my doom. Can't jump, can't do anything. Oh well. I guess that's it. This is the end. My only friend. The end. Ding dong. Is that a dream? Anyway, sounds like somebody's at the door. Ooh. Who's this guy? A strange person at the door. Talk to them through the window, but keep the door closed. Okay, can't open the door. Okay. So... Can I give this guy candy? Uh, hello. Stranger. It's kind of late to be trick-or-treating, don't you think? Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, but we're out of candy, too. Because I just ate it. <laughs> Can you hear me? I said we're out of candy. So I'm going to go now. Maybe try another house. They might still have some candy left. Why is he just looking at me? I should probably phone my parents about this. Use the phone to phone my parents. And you can't open the door. Hmm, okay. Beep. 
Hello? Mom? There's a guy here and he won't leave. Mama, 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 mama. Guy's standing at the front door and he won't leave. Is he a trick or treater? I don't know. Maybe he's really tall though. Taller than me. Was the door locked? Yeah. Back door too? No. Uh oh. Back. Better hurry up. Let let me get off the phone then. There. Ah. Oh well. He beats you to it. No. Ah. Got killed by that guy. Let's see, there must be other endings. Continue. Sounds like somebody's at the door. Let's see. Oh, why don't you help me? You're a spooky werewolf. You can help me. I'm not allowed in there. Hey, what happened to all my candy? Oh, you can. You can go out here. Oh, where's the knife? Everything's reset. Can I... Can I stab this guy? Ah. I didn't want it shit. Okay. Okay. Let's skip, skip. Okay. Okay. Going to go now. Maybe try another house. Okay. So. I can't stab him or anything. Okay. I can't leave. Can I give him a pizza? Oh, hey, there's a mouse. Thing in there. Eh, the old piece of candy's back. There's another mouse. I guess all this stuff resets. Where were the other ones? Let's see if we can find the other mice. Nothing in here. Yeah, there's another mouse. You have to open the back. Here's a, another mouse. Doesn't do anything. Can I watch the scary movie again? No, I can't. No, no, that doesn't do anything. Okay. 
nothing in here. Yes, this is the parents room. nothing. Can't seem to pry the doors open. do anything to him. I'm going to try something. I wonder. Oh, you know what? Give me the knife. Well, it didn't help me last time. Let's leave the door open. And we'll call. Okay. Mom, there's a guy here and he won't leave. What do you mean? There's a guy standing at the front door and he won't leave. Is he a trick-or-treater? I don't know. Maybe he's really tall, though. Taller than me. Is the door locked? Yeah. No, it's not. Back door, too? Ah, look at that. I'm not sure. Go, go. Come on. Let me get off the phone. Okay. Let's get over there and close the front door, too. Okay. Ring, ring. Mom, Mom. Is everything all right? I think that guy tried to break into the house. Just as I was locking the door. Are you sure? Yeah, he shook the door and everything. Everything's fine now. It's probably just somebody pulling a Halloween prank and trying to scare you. Did the guy leave? Uh, I don't see him anywhere, so I guess he left. See, honey, it was just a prank. Just about to leave the party. We won't have a phone while we are driving. I get some sleep until we get there. It's nothing to be afraid of. Thanks, Mom. Mom? Mom! Power went out. I should go upstairs and hide in my room. Okay. Search the drawers. Okay. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh. Suddenly we have a gun. Find the gun. Okay. No, he was watching the movie. at the house here. Let's, uh... Okay.
Reveal the identity of this monster. Burn, kill the foil man before he... Burn, kill the foil man before hell comes. Empty your father's secret room. Tinfoil, is tinfoil man real? Yes. Extensive investigations may have found no concrete evidence that tinfoil man really exists. Old Lady Bertha says she believes tinfoil man is real. She once found tinfoil man naked in her kitchen helping himself to her tinfoil. <laughs> Superhero or supervillain? Is a debate if tinfoil man really exists in town still rages. A newer debate has been taking off in the restaurants and break rooms. If tinfoil man is real, is he really a good person? Severely burned in lightning strike. Covering third degree burns. It's being struck by lightning Monday while walking. Man had been walking alone on overcast Monday evening. Thunderstrike rang out. He was found by a female jogger, was taken quickly to the hospital. Tin wrapped man robs gas station. The Gator gas station south of town was robbed at gunpoint Tuesday. Uh, sweet. Police were quick to respond with force, but the robber had already fled from the scene. Family saved from grease fire claimed tinfoil man came to the rescue in Inferno engulfed a single family residence on May Turner Drive last Sunday evening while the entire building was unable to be saved. Family was able to make it to safety before the local fire department arrived. Their story of survival has members in the community fearing they may have breathed in a little too much hot smoke. When interviewed, they revealed that they had been deep frying a turkey inside the living room when a grease fire broke out. Quickly spread to the staircase leading upstairs, blocking off Murray, family three-year-old Max who was sleeping upstairs. I didn't know what to do. Fire spread so fast. Look for blah, blah, blah. Tinfoil shortage. Local businesses have been reporting severe tinfoil shortage since last Thursday. We asked store owner Jerry Johnson at the local Big Old 8 store Sonsford, it's the weirdest thing. It's got a new shipment and we can't seem to keep the stuff on the shelves. I don't know what's happening to it all. That much tinfoil, you could probably wrap 10,000 turkeys or one Blake's field hockey fan. It's like people obsessed with the stuff or something. <laughs> okay. And then what's this? Still rages, newer debate. Is he real or a good person? Okay. So dad hated tinfoil man. So is this my dad? Is that the deal? I should step back. Okay. Uh, how much further do I have to step back? Okay. Stepping back, stepping back. Stepping way back. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's an alien. I think my parents are at the front door. <laughs> hey! Hey, are you really my parents? Mom, Dad, I don't know what happened. There was a guy here, he broke into the house. He chased after me with a knife. I didn't know what to do, so I shot him. I thought he was dead, but then I think he turned into an alien. I'm so sorry. Dot, dot, dot. Why aren't you saying anything? Because they're also aliens. have to get out of here. End. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> Is that my parents?
Okay. Shoot the aliens. Okay. One line ender. One line ender. Deluxe kill. Super kill. <laughs> Wow! This is bystander. Spectacular. One line and Legendary kill. Mega kill. Deluxe kill. <laughs> Legally binding homicide. Bystander. Legally binding homicide. Okay, how many do you have to kill? Sicko kill! Sicko kill! Wow! Deluxe kill! Bloodline ender! Legally binding homicide! Legally binding homicide! Oh, one of them got me. This guy again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just talk to the alien, see if he'll give me my arm back. Thought you could defeat us. We're going to destroy every last one of you. That's what you kind of get for being greedy and not sharing your... I gave you candy. Please don't kill me, I don't understand. Came to your planet, and at first you met us with open arms. Every place showered us with gifts of gummies, chocolate, and inedible squishy rocks you call candy corn. As the night went on, your kind became more and more hostile to us. Yeah, so we're refusing to answer the door. We even tried to disguise ourselves, but to no avail. Do either this greed, you shall all perish. Wait! It's because you people stopped giving you candy? Yes, tiny human. Your wrinkle-free organ is correct. It's just a big misunderstanding. You guys probably went trick-or-treating all night until really late. What is trick-or-treating? The aliens came on Halloween. The one wonderful night of the year, everyone dresses up and collects candy. You silly aliens probably kept asking for candy way too late into the night and people got mad. That's why people stopped giving you candy. Not because they hate you, but because Halloween is over. Wait, you don't hate us? Well, I don't know about now. Oh my Gleep Glorp, this is embarrassing. Sorry about your arm. Guys, this was all a big old misunderstanding. Stop the annihilation. Is there anything I can do to make this up to you? Can you reattach my arm? I'm an alien, not a wizard. Sorry, buddy. So if we just come back on Halloween, you guys will share your candy with us. Uh, you'd have to ask the government, but maybe yeah. Wow, you humans are so nice, innocent, and peaceful. Well, it looks like it's about time to hit the old dusty trail. Sorry for the mess. Everybody back to the ship. Captain, that human killed Gleepglorp as exit five inside the house. Wait, you can't. It was my 512th son, you monster. Please, I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. I was defending myself. Hmm. I should probably kill you for killing my son, but I did kill your parents and everyone else you know. <laughs> I ripped off your arm and destroyed your town and hit you with an invisible beam that makes it so you can no longer enjoy the sweet taste of candy. Which has a side effect that makes it so you can no longer have kids. <laughs> Wait, what? So, let's just call it even. Uh, bye-bye, insignificant human. Thanks for the tasty Halloween treats. Can't wait to visit you again next year. Happy Halloween! 
Okay, well that was just silly. Okay. Well, that's the real ending. Dark phantom cat under the midnight sky. That's the squeaky door. Zalbar sleeping <laughs> screaming. This can't big boy crew. Well, what's happening? Tinfoil man. I thought that tinfoil man was dead. Tinfoil. Don't worry, citizen. I have arrived. You're too late. Those dastardly aliens. Too late, tinfoil man. They already left. Enough for you. Ha, I knew it. I must have been too afraid of my tinfoil man to f so they ran away. Uh, I don't know if they even saw tin you. Foil. That silly child. Get steal my <laughs> flip the battlefield. Okay. Didn't you get hit by lightning? I thought you tin died. Foil. Nonsense, tiny brain. That was simply me charging up. That old man carried you away in a body bag. Oh, the wizard? For you. He simply took me to his lair under the highway overpass. Fed me health potions. Tin foil. <laughs> Enough talking about how great I am. It's been another great victory tin for foil. Tin Foil Man. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. That's the real end. Thanks for what was kind of fun. So thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. And uh, I have a couple other games that I'm going to play too. Halloween games. So have a good one. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.